Hello. Rank formula. Today I'm going to use rank formula to gauge certain position of a group of students among each other. So I've taken a certain group of 10 students with six different subjects and of course different scores they have secured. I've taken an average by using average formula, whereby a total by using a sum formula. So here in the column K, we're going to demonstrate it. So first of all, I will write is equal to rank. So it asks for the first input number. So the number is the student's total mark, whom we want to rank. And then it asks for a reference. So we will select all the number of the students. There we go. Then it asks for the order, but we'll not talk about the order at the moment. We'll just close the formula. But before we close it, don't forget that make this column stagnant so that when we move it, the numbers should move with it. We use F4 formula over here. Let's press enter. Number two. This means that the guy has secured second position in the group. Let's see where the others are. There we go. Here we are. The scores are here. But what happens is whenever you drag something like this, we have a thick border across the table, which definitely will be ruined with this format. So remember, whenever you click here and fill without formatting. So when you do it, you manage to save the bottom format. So here we are. We can see that we have the ranking of the 10 students and number 10 is Sophia and number one is Laura. So this is the scoring that has uh, come across with the rank formula. Now, I was telling you about something else that was at the end of the formula, there's order. You can see over here the order. So normally it is taking descending as a default order. So we can see the highest on number one and the lowest on number 10. But there are some cases where we need to see that who, for example, has done the less mistakes is on number one. So in such cases, we have to change the order to ascending. And by this, the ranking will change. So it will be upside down. So by this, now Sophia is on number one, whereas Laura is on number 10. So there are some cases where we, we need this to be done as well. So that was it. Good luck.